Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. So here we are again with the updated tier list for the assist units yes for the assist skills only and this uh, list we've done it before if you want a full description of every unit and why we put them in this uh in these positions you can go and check the link in the description for the previous video it will describe every single unit and why we put them there and we talked very much in a comprehensive way about it and now we're gonna add the new units and we're gonna adjust some placement for the units because we're using them more often and we understand them more and more now without further ado let's start with this list and first of all the main unit that we're gonna talk about now you're not gonna use this unit in this uh, uh meta as as an assist but if you want to use him it will be goken now goken we uh put him a little bit higher on the list because his shields are insane it will help you survive it will reduce the damage taken plus it will buff your attack which will make him a little bit of a monster if you want to call it that now next we have uh summer yang summer yang his assist is really crucial it saved a lot of runs because of his shield his shield is so thick that he will help you if you get a crit on the face for the assisted fighter he will grant him a shield of his uh defense total defense of 400 percent of the defense i think and it will save you and save your run now we have viper you see her down at c now she goes up to s y because any unit now we appreciate any unit that is on assist position that has no trigger time interval so it means whenever you're gonna do the combo or super combo with this unit and she's assisting them she's gonna drop on the field and add that much of damage and her damage is a little bit noticeable, noticeable and it will ramp up and add it a little bit for your lineup now another unit that if we are not using on the main lineup we're using as assist because it helps a little bit and it's situational but it's really good when you use it and it's summer ibuki now why summer ibuki helps you a little bit because she gives you 10 percent crit rate which is really good for your meta now which everything is buffing crit damage you need this little push of crit rate and if you are faster this is the condition if the unit that is assisted by her is faster than the enemy that they're hitting she, then these units will get the 10 percent buff in crit rate now a unit that we're not using so often and her buff is not that magnificent and it goes up to 6% only which is jury so she drops a little bit on the list and she is not that much used anymore and if you want to use her just for the inferno buff there's other units that you can use and they will help you with the buff more than her now we will be talking and including the units that are in the top tier to the lesser tier and we'll be talking about their skills and explaining them starting off with chief viper now chief viper straight up to the ss rank she's really good now uh, after the assisted fighter unleashes a combo or a super combo she increases their damage or their super combo and combo damage by six percent until the end of the battle and stacks three times it means it goes up to 18 percent of increase of damage for their combo and super combo which make her a little bit more useful especially because she's infernal you can continue an infernal buff if you're playing ryu in the main lineup or uh, either ryu or bison or anybody that is from infernal that would give you the buff of the infernal faction which is really awesome and really handy now next we have taos gen and taos gen is one of my favorite assists in the game because it's really good and you need to play it on manual and it's really based on skills and strategy and how you play the game it's better than playing it on auto but on auto it still works now his assist it's it alternates between two buffs one you're gonna get the buff for the rest of the battle and this buff will give you a damage reduction or it will give you a reduced damage taken by 20 percent and then after 10 seconds it will shift to another thing which is bonus damage by 20 percent so every 10 seconds you're gonna get damage reduction by 20 percent then damage amplification by 20 percent until the end of the battle this is really great and it's really good for strategic play gameplay and to protect yourself but you need to play around it uh, as much as possible it's a skill based uh, assist unit which is really really good next we'll be talking about the op unit that they released in the game which is uh, schoolgirl elena and this elena is really great with every aspect that they release in the game but the thing is there's a catch here she's a bossing assist unit when you use her on assist it's specifically for bossing because the unit that will be assisted it will increase the damage of this assisted unit by 20 percent 
only if you're facing one enemy even if the bosses are like uh, Nero or Virgil that you're facing and they have three units with them it will not be affecting at all it will not be applied you only need to fight one enemy and this enemy will take 20% more damage from that assisted fighter if you're using her on assist which makes her a really good buffer for bossing units now for trendy akuma and as i said always every unit that gives you combo meter is really appreciated and this guy does not only give the assisted unit a combo meter it will give you it will fill that combo meter by 60 points and it's not only like this it's every time they use their c2 and it has no time interval so if you're going back to back back to back using the same c2 with the same fighter which is assisted by trendy akuma you'll always fill your combo meter similar to yan and yang they have interval time by 12 seconds he has zero to interval time it means you can apply it always when you go back to back and if you can keep your lineup surviving now one of the greatest units that have been released into the game and shapeshifted the entire gameplay and became the top meta for bossing which is uh, rich honda rich honda is a great unit and his assist is really great nobody will use him as an assist because we use him as well at a rank and a plus rank for bossing for his super combo which is absolutely insane but his assist is really decent and really good it's one of the high recommended ones if you, he assists a unit they will lose 10 percent of their max hp when they enter the battle and the 10 percent of hp 200 percent of it will be of or uh, of the hp lost will be converted into a permanent shield which will protect you and help you throughout the game it's can it can be dispelled but it can get removed by certain amount of damage so it's a very defensive good assist unit also one of the decent assist uh, fighting units with their fighting and uh, and assist it's a trendy guile now trendy guile will give you three stacks of sonic saber when you go into the battle and these sonic saber will reduce the da damage reduction that the enemy take or they will ignore defense five percent defense of this enemy for every stack so 15 percent ignore defense for the enemy which will make him a good pair if you use him as an assist for somebody dealing damage while using taust gan as a super or using rich honda as a super but because we're not using them with uh, fighters that deal raw damage we're using them with burn comp to amplify the damage with fire Aidon. don't use him on fire Aidon. i'm not saying that he's good on fire Aidon. he's bad on fire Aidon because ignoring the damage or ignoring the defense it's for the attacks that he deals physically go and hit not for the burn or the carpet or the wall that fire Aidon does so keep that in mind it's for units that are dealing damage the damage that they're dealing initially with hitting the units will ignore 15 percent of the damage of these units that you're hitting them or the bosses or whatever you're using them against now coming in in the a rank we have uh jinon ibuki now jinon ibuki is a good assist unit but it's super rng requires a lot of retries you want to hit her with the show and the ta uh, or the sha and the toe which one of them gives you uh crit damage and one gives you damage amplification it's really rng really good but it's not that uh, recommended you can you replace it with any other units with the assist that buffs attack or damage but she's also handy and you can use her there's no wrong in using her as an assist especially if you're playing legendary faction and you want that assist on legendary faction that gives you the entire buff of the full faction now coming in a rank and yeah you wouldn't believe it it's ferris agat ferris agat is a decent assist character and he has high base stats so the assisted fighter will gain a lot of stats from him now the good thing about him he's infernal so you can continue the buff of infernal the second thing is when this fighter is as the assisted fighter uh dies he will get a, a or, or summon a replica or summon a shadow or a clone that will inherit 40 percent of the defense attack and hp of ferris agat and they will continue fighting and this is where i tell everybody if you want to use them use them mainly on units that are triggered that you don't even use or click so you don't waste your time when they die and you will have a copy of them and they will do the same functionality in the game so he will uh, revive a unit or he will do a copy of a unit that will die and it will inherit 40 percent of his basic attributes and then you can continue the fight and will have no headache pressing them or continuing their skills they will just go passively and do their things this is why he's a little bit good on the assist position now as i promised and i told you before i will find a place for uh balrog in this uh current meta or in the lineups and he's really actually decent not the best but he's really decent because of his damage reduction we couldn't find a place for him in lineups we found that he works on assist position 
better than everybody else and because he's infernal it will help you a little bit to continue that synergy and this buff so what he does is he reduces damage reduction or damage uh he gives you damage reduction 10 percent actually and for every one hp that you lose he will give you 0.2 damage reduction it means if you lose 10 percent hp that's a two percent damage reduction will get you up to 12 percent and every 10 percent another uh, two percent which will ramp up and ramp up the more that you get lower on health the more that you get more survivability and the heals will benefit you more and more so this is where he shines as an assist position character now on the c ranks and it's one of the worst actually uh, special summon characters as an assist position just because of the conditions that need to be met so you have 40 percent chance to inflict burn if the enemy have been inflicted upon them bleed or armor break so you need to play a unit or a team that deals a bleed or armor break so they will if they are assisting a unit have the chance 40% uh, chance to have burn on these units which will not synergize correctly with everything because bleed armor break and burn have different li lineup synergies and metas it could work but it's one of the worst ones i don't recommend them being played uh, there plus their stats are not power stats so they will, they will not give you the best buffs for uh hp or defense but they will give you a good stat of buff on attack if you use them so keep that in mind i don't recommend using them as an assist if you can play them on the lineup and you have them fully built they will benefit you a lot more now again similar to kami and vega uh, Fire Aedon has a condition and it's uh, it's not that good actually to play him except if you're playing a fire team and or, or a fire unit uh, especially like somebody like Dalsim so if you the assisted thing that he does when the assisted fighter inflict burn like somebody like uh, Dalsim on the enemy increase this assisted fighter attack by 10% of fire Aiden attack not his own attack and the assisted fighter usually you don't want them to give you their attack you want them to buff you with normal attack of your percentage that you have so this is why we put him a little bit lower and nobody actually plays him on an assist position we normally play him on the lineup because he's a main damage dealer he's the best damage dealer for for bossing for for even for story mode or whatever you can use him just for his c3 but not for his assist position now coming in we have suit able now suit able is not the worst assist fighter he has high stats but the assist skill that he has is not that helpful especially with our meta and the deficit that we have in story mode and in tower and versus bossing so what he does is increase your healing rate by 18 percent until the end of the battle now healing is not a problem the problem is when you reach that point that you get one shot no matter what the enemy does is the problem because the healing will not help you survive the shields might help you uh the the reductions of damage and the increase of defense might heal you help you but the healing will not help you, help you a lot so this is why he comes really in a low tier but it's still good it's not that bad but it's not the meta and not what we're looking for maybe early game mid game he will be helpful with his assist but again play him on the lineup he will heal you he will shield you he will give you more survivability than his assist skill next we have trendy dalsim now as i said always anything that give you combo meter is highly recommended and really good but this is one of the slowest uh, assist mechanic to give you combo meter which is every you're gonna get a charge at the start of the battle and this charge after 10 seconds it expires and give you 50 combo meter and every 20 seconds you're gonna get a charge on that assisted fighter and after 10 seconds it means 30 seconds it will expire so it gives you another 50 combo meter, which the battle will take you 90 seconds. So you're going to have a maximum of two charges or three charges if you survive, which is not really good, actually. And we recommend something else. But because he's a master faction, I didn't put him down there. I put him a little bit up because master can complete a, fi a faction buff that you want to get. So this is the only thing that will redeem him in this tier list. And finally, we have the last unit of the new units that we have, which is Christmas Rufus. And it's one of the worst mechanics in the game not because the mechanic that it not the mechanic it's one of the worst timing or percentage in the game it's a 10 percent chance so what he does is you have 10 percent chance when you attack to inflict chill on the unit and chill is reduce the reduce of speed is good but it's it counters mainly burn so if you're against burn or flame teams it will reduce the flame damage taken but the thing is about it it's 10 percent and it has an interval time of five seconds so if you miss the interval or you hit 
very fast with like within four seconds you miss the chance of the 10 percent to inflict the chill 10 percent is very low if they made it 25 percent i would put him up there in the s rank because it's really helpful for uh, reducing the speed and taking and countering the flame uh faction but if you want to counter the flame faction and play him on a main lineup this will be super helpful he's highly recommended but because it's only 10 percent to give you one chill not even two stacks but one stack of chill this is why it comes very low on the tier list and that concludes it for our list we have the two to be determined uh, units that the units that we are expecting them to drop basically we're gonna have trendy uh, vega coming in the, to the game we have seth we have strongest dan water chun lee summer young yakuza ken yakuza guy trendy uh, Honda, Trendy, uh, Bison, and uh, Boxing Champion Balrog. Maybe the, these are the only units that are still left in the game that are uh, 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 within the Street Fighter world, with not outside the uh, Street Fighter world. And the other versions, we have uh, a collab with a pop star or something like that. And we have other units uh, that are mythological, like Aphrodite, Wukong, and something like that. Hopefully, maybe they will consider dropping them into the game. But so far, these this is the list. Let me know about your opinions about this list. Let me know if you're using somebody else in a different way that I didn't know about or my friends didn't know about when we did this list. And it will be so much helpful. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly. Too far